Flying Officer Beck Sweeney. This is my first posting out of ADFA to RAF Tyndall. I live on base up here. My name's Heather Querin. Um, my husband, who's a sergeant with uh, 17 Squadron, and I moved to Catherine four and a half years ago. I'm Amanda and... I'm Taffy and we've been posted here for two years uh, from Newcastle. I'm the XO of 75 Squadron and so one of about 15 pilots that are up here in Tyndall. I am Flying Officer Brent Jones. Uh, I've been uh, through pilot training up to this point, so I've been to Sale, Tamworth, Perth, uh, Newcastle, and now I'm here, I got here six months ago. Welcome to a snapshot of the Catherine region of the Northern Territory. Its spectacular beauty lays on the doorstep of the Tyndall RAAF base, which is located 15 kilometres southeast of the town of Catherine. Welcome to RAF Base Tyndall. The base actually dates back to uh, 1942. It was developed predominantly for the B-24 heavy uh, Liberator bombers. The base was never used in anger, but it was bombed. It was developed again through the 70s and 80s. And in 1988, it was opened, as you can see the base today, um, to support fast jet operations. I actually applied for this position. At the time, it was a, uh, it was a good uh, thing for me to do as far as career goes. Uh, and with the kids being the age that they are, that it just made sense for us to come and spend a little bit of time up here. When my husband was told he had to post out of Williamtown, where he'd been for nearly 14 years, um, we really had to make a decision where we wanted to go. And it was more about our lifestyle. Catherine appealed to us because it was an outback posting. Um, it had a lot of rewards that went with that posting. And it offered us something as a new married couple that we wouldn't get in our old environment. I found out uh, mid last year that I was getting posted to Tyndall. And it was a bit of a surprise because it, it meant that my tour at Newcastle was getting cut in half, but um, I'm happy to be here now and one of the biggest draw cards, I guess, is probably the team uh, and the people that I get to work with here. Halfway through my fourth year at uh, ADFA, we got asked where we'd want to go for a posting. I got offered Tyndall or Melbourne. I decided that Melbourne was a little bit too close to Canberra, a little bit too close to home and I wanted a bit of an adventure, so I decided to come to Tyndall. A tree change like the Catherine region will introduce you to a more tranquil lifestyle in a region packed with spectacular natural beauty, all on the doorstep of the modern township of Catherine. A remote posting certainly, but one with much to consider. Fabulous tree change, good desert change, I think it's fantastic. Well I've been to a few bases in my time in the Royal Australian Air Force. Um, Tyndall, as I've said, it's one of those ones that sometimes is a bit of a secret. Um, not everybody gets the opportunity to come up here. I imagined just a giant dirt patch in the middle of nowhere. Um, I was actually surprised to find that there were trees and grass. A little bit, I suppose, <laughs> yeah, naive of me, but I wasn't exactly sure what this part of Australia was going to look like. We always address Catherine as a wild frontier because we were a bit of a latte set in Newcastle. We'd go out for dinner four or five nights a week, um, socialise a lot with our friends, lots of wine in the Hunter. And we thought it was good to get a break away from that and maybe get you know, down and dirty in a little bit of the bush and camp and um, get some use out of a camper van that we'd hardly ever used since we bought. I guess it could be perceived that Tyndall would be a very lonely place because it's a remote location. Um, but one of the big benefits is that I'm surrounded by people the same age with the same interests. RAAF based Tyndall is a purpose-built facility designed specifically to cater for RAAF personnel and their families. There is on base accommodation for singles, couples and families, and there are even childcare facilities. Base Tyndall is a purpose-built facility in terms of we do have an operational area here where all the, uh, the military operations happen, but uh, a large part of the footprint here in terms of the real estate belongs to what we call the domestic area. That is for the families, that's for the children, that's for the members uh, when they're not working. It's a bit of a social hub. We have a lot of community spirit in there. And some of the items that um, we do have in terms of facilities to justify this as a purpose-built base is a 50 metre swimming pool, which goes down very well with the families, especially on the hot days here. A post office, banks, a utility shop, coffee shop, community centre, Absolutely fantastic first-rate gym facilities as well. A typical day for me is I get up at about six, uh, go to the gym, go for a run and get ready and go, for, go to work, probably come back from work and uh, then head to the mess for dinner.
We wanted to, to live on base and it's about half half the people that live on base and the people that live in town. Um, we wanted to just mainly for the kids uh, and the facilities that are here. Uh, for them like the pool that's you know, only a five minute walk away and there's the parks. I think for me it's a lot about the support of the the guys that are around here in the neighbourhood, um, you know, a lot of the families here do have young kids similar ages to us and the support that you get from them being here on base is lovely. You don't have your families right here but you've got your neighbours who turn into your families. Some of the activities that they do after school are here, like swimming lessons are done out here and the Auskick now is done at the AFL Oval so it's just easy um, to have those all within five minutes walk. The kids can walk there on their own as well. That's a very safe environment. We've got approximately 200 um, married quarters on base. They are all aligned to the Defence Housing Australia standards. In fact, uh, we're doing very well up here. We're just going through a major refurbishment program for all those houses due to conclude towards the end of 2015. The houses that have been refurbished, the feedback from the families is very positive. Outside the base, but within the suburbs of Catherine, there is also defence housing available for both families and individuals, and all meeting the required Australian standards. Their style and location can be accessed via the Defence Housing DHA website prior to your arrival in Catherine. So I chose to live off base when I moved to Tyndall. I kind of enjoy the freedom of uh, leaving work behind. I found a place in Catherine East. It's a pretty good area to live and I'm essentially surrounded by all my mates in town as well anyway, so it's almost like living on base with plenty of friends around. I chose to live off base because it gave us a greater advantage of meeting our neighbours, none of who are Air Force people. So it's very akin to living back in our old hometown where none of our neighbours were Air Force people. So we're still socialising with other people. Catherine enjoys a great deal of services and facilities. There are all major Australian banks, many small specialty stores, a library as well as some of the national chains you will be familiar with, such as Country Target, Woolworths, Subway and let's not forget Coffee Club. Shopping in Catherine is shopping anywhere, remote small cup country town, you know, whether you live in country town Victoria, country town New South Wales or Catherine you're limited to what you can get in by transport. If, you, if they don't have something that you really want, you can order it in. And also you can always shop online. <laughs> Catherine's climate is defined as subtropical. There is no such thing as four seasons here, rather two distinct wet and dry seasons. Average daily temperature variation is generally no greater than 10 degrees year-round, ranging between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius. The dry season has the least humidity and temperatures regularly drop down to a cosy overnight temperature of around 10 degrees Celsius. Yes, it can get hot and sticky, but certainly during that dry season, it's very, very pleasant here. The amount of tourists that we get during that dry season is testament to how pleasant it is. There is no shortage of water though, with an average of 74 rain days a year, and generally this occurs between January and early March. The local culture and the local Indigenous people, I've learned an awful lot about their culture and how to fit in with them because we are, after all, in their backyard, you know, they're not in ours. Catherine marks the point where three traditional lands come together. The history of these cultures can be seen in local galleries and festivals, ancient rock art and crafts. Right in town is the stunning landmark that is the Godin Mayan Yaijad Rivers Arts and Culture Centre, a meeting place for Indigenous and non-Indigenous people to gather and share their art and culture. The township of Catherine is just 30 kilometres away from the Nitmaluk National Park. Not only do you get to experience the breathtaking 13 separate gorges, but you can also explore the Indigenous history that has developed over the many millennia. Catherine may have a population of around 10,000 people, but it has an education platform that is equal to a large city. 
From childcare and early learning facilities through primary and secondary school and further into VET or TAFE and tertiary education sectors. The younger ones can be catered for either on Tyndall Base or in Catherine Township. Catherine has both private and public school options. We have two young boys, one is six and one is four. We started off with Ollie in preschool and uh, there's a fantastic preschool here on base which we're really lucky to be part of. Yeah, they, they're in that you know, Monday to Friday routine of preschool in the morning and pick up school in the afternoon. Um, there's the buses that go into, into town so Ollie gets on the bus at seven o'clock in the morning and um, yeah, they're, they're enjoying that. From head to toe, Catherine has health services to cater for most primary health care needs. There are a number of private and public dental practitioners, along with optometry services such as OPSM Catherine. Primary health care on base includes a medical centre with dental care, health promotion, physiotherapy and a resident general practitioner. The medical centre also has ward and emergency resource facilities. For families and supplementing on-base facilities are a selection of general practitioners and the Catherine Hospital. When you arrive in Catherine, it's always best there's two major medical clinics in town. Um, it's best to go along and visit them and register yourself with them first. For emergencies, of course, you can go along to the hospital, to the emergency centre at the hospital. Mostly, the most you'd wait for an appointment would be one or two days. But if there's an emergency and you tell the doctors or the medical centre it's an emergency, they'll make an opening for you or even stay a bit later if they have to. It's not really that much of an out front here, especially when you live in Newcastle. You can have the same facilities here as you can have there, really. Catherine's community is diverse. They are welcoming people from all walks of life and your participation in community activities is valued. Of course, there is always the option of heading off base to check out the latest movie in town or enjoy one of the many restaurants and bistros. There's even the likes of Markski and his Outback Tucker Dinner experience. Or perhaps it's time to go five star and indulge in the Cicada Lodge experience. Glamour and luxury front and centre. But where the extreme entertainment comes from is through the awesome wilderness. I guess the good thing about being posted up here is uh, the opportunity to explore the top end. There's heaps of national parks like Litchfield and Kakadu National Park and some really good things to see. We've got the Gorge or Edith Falls, there's the Hot Springs, uh, there's heaps on the way from here to Darwin that you can go see, Kakadu or Litchfield, and you can go swimming, fishing, camping, depends what your interests are. You know, your uh, kangaroos hop down the street in Australia, they do here. <laughs> There's kangaroo poo out on the front lawn, so this is actually where it happens. So yeah, the wildlife, you know, and teaching the kids about that is, you know, and I think, you know, the indigenous cultural side as well, you know, that's an opportunity that we wouldn't have had back down south as rich as what it is here. So I think that's a lovely thing for the kids to, you know, explore as well. There is also the Henry Scott Recreation Centre, a fantastic facility that the YMCA operate many fitness and wellbeing activities from. Activities such as Les Mills group fitness classes, full gym facilities, personal trainers, a roller rink, dance classes, and can even organise music classes. Let's not forget the Catherine Aquatic Centre. The pool is heated by a solar heating system during the dry season. With the growing economy in the Northern Territory, there are always work opportunities in the Catherine area. The Territory Government is very supportive of people interested in being involved in small business. Assistance and training through Department of Business programs is available in areas such as industry support, business development and upskilling. The Territory Business Centre is located in the main street of Catherine. I'm trained as a speech pathologist. So I decided to start up my own private practice when I got up here. Came up here, there was the business centre offered you know, free courses on how to start your own business. There were members of the community that were really helpful in supporting me and starting that up. It wasn't long before I had 
plenty and too many <laughs> referrals to um, to deal with. But that's you know, there's that I suppose that says there's a lot of opportunity. All of this just 334 kilometres from Darwin, the Northern Territory's capital city. For those times when you want to enjoy the resources of a capital city, Darwin is not only Australia's gateway into Southeast Asia, but also gives you access to great national events such as the V8 supercars and the Darwin Cup, as well as recreational, health, education and shopping facilities. Darwin has Casuarina Square, a GPT-managed shopping centre with over 100 national retailers' outlets. Of course, there is also over 200 shops in the Darwin City Mall and surrounds, not to mention Mindel and Parap markets. So, moving to the Catherine region will require you to leave behind the high-rise environment, the peak hour traffic and the sounds of trams but you will be gaining a green environment, an amazing community focus, and the inspiring sights and culture of Australia's north. Join us and be part of the sheer adventure of living and working in the Northern Territory. For more information, please contact the Defence Community Liaison Officer, Northern Territory Government.